This is Mark Attar at Profile Properties. We're just at the north end of 190A in Pitt Meadows. We're just south of the Lowheat Highway. The Lowheat Highway is just beyond the end of this parking lot. And we're looking today at 12655 190A. This is Cedar Downs. This is a complex that has about seven buildings in total. I believe some townhouses and some condos. And we are gonna be right up on the top here, looking at one of those enclosed balconies. I believe it's gonna be that one right there on the top floor. So we're gonna go inside and have a look. I'll meet you there. So we're just upstairs now on the fourth floor. Uh, this is an elevator. There's an elevator at the end of the hall. That's the one you would use if you were walking. Uh, we do have an elevator that's much closer as well. In fact, it's right next to our unit. This one would be the one you would use to go to the downstairs to the uh, parking lot. So we are going to have a look inside. So we've got pretty amazing vaulted ceilings on this one. A little hard for the camera to focus because of the monstrous windows. So we've got 14 foot vaulted ceilings in the living room and in the master bedroom. Pretty good size uh, in this one. And you are looking off to the west and the Lougheed is just between the buildings there. The sound is blocked pretty good. We'll go outside and check that later. So just looking back from the living room window. So the kitchen. Got the dark wood cabinets. We've got some really good appliances here as well. Quite nice frigid air. Lights kind of dim on when you open. Water and ice temperature. And glass top five burner stove top. Microwave over the range. We've got the granite kind of breakfast bar, countertops, restaurant style sink faucet, and undermounted sink. So the whole apartment is laminate flooring, except kitchen and bathroom is oversized, looks like 12 by 24 tiles. master bedroom is very large. I don't have the dimensions in my head, but it will definitely fit any bed. It's got the overheight ceilings, which makes it feel even more spacious. And we do have air conditioning in all rooms. Living room and the two bedrooms. We're kind of looking across towards the other units. So both bedrooms actually have the walk-through closet, not a true walk-in, but you go through the closet to get to the bathroom, and both closets have the organizers. Just kind of some shelves here, some hanging, and then the bathroom. This is the ensuite bathroom, so we've got double sinks with the granite. This is a four piece and we've got the oversized double walk-in shower. It's got the rain wand as well as a wand or the rain shower faucet. And we'll take a walk across. We've got laundry. Nice. 
middle here. Laundry closet. There is a front closet as well. And we'll have a look in this bathroom. This is the main bath. So this also does connect to the second bedroom with a walk-through closet as before. We've got the double shower bars on this tub with the backsplash tiles, tiles on the floor. And we're gonna go through the walk-through closet, which has organizers on both sides again. Pretty good for a second bedroom towards second bedroom. This one is also decent size. This would be the size of a master in some buildings. Oversized windows. This is really the only room that has nine foot ceilings instead of the vaulted, other than the kitchen and bathrooms. Kitchen and bathrooms and second bedroom all have nine foot ceilings. There's the air conditioner for the living room. We've got one in each room. So the balcony is a little different than what you're used to. It's quite large. But it is enclosed. So it's got the windows that can't, some of them can be opened. And with them open, you can hear the low heat for sure, but it is somewhat blocked in between the buildings. With it closed. A little quieter. But this is a good sized deck. And what you're looking out towards, towards the south, this is just the other building. Some parking down below. courtyard down on the north side, sitting area, and we're going to pause the video for a sec and we'll come back, I'll go downstairs to show you the parking stall and storage locker. So we just took a break down to the parking garage, I uh, don't often look at the parking stalls, but in this case We've got some pretty good parking stalls. We've got uh, this one up against the easement, and so that gives a little extra space. And on this side, we've got this middle one, and behind it, I've opened up the door. This is actually the storage locker, and so this is great, uh, very secure. You've got your own lock on it, and it's your own storage locker, not to be shared. It is approximately four feet by six feet. Four feet deep, six feet wide, and it's actually very high. Um, there's a pipe up there, and uh, but it's probably almost nine or 10 feet tall. So we're back upstairs, and if you are interested in this property, please call 604-464. 7548. This is Mark Guitar, Profile Properties.